Sounds good. Let's take a, another look here from Storm Tracker 5 tonight. We are in Brunswick right now, keeping an eye on the roads there as the rain we've been seeing all day changes to snow across northeast Ohio. A school of uh, a handful of schools, by the way, already canceling classes for tomorrow. Mark, what I found yeah. fascinating throughout the day, throughout uh, the noon show, four, five, six, we've seen through our crews out on the scene, like Richie right now on the, on the roads and your maps, just how this thing has come from the east or come from the west into the east. And you can see the sloppy snowflakes hitting his windshield right there. It's kind of that rain snow mix, that slop flake there. And that's going to all transition over to snow and it will begin to stick over the next few hours. Once we can cool that ground down and cool the air down enough closer to 32, then we'll start to see the snow stick. We do have some snow falling now in Cleveland. We're at 37 degrees. It is not going to stick until we get those temps down. A dew point of 35, humidity at 92%. Did you see those winds out of the west northwest? 25 miles per hour. So the wind is also going to be an issue to tonight, tomorrow through tomorrow night with wind chills in the teens. Wind gusts of 35 miles per hour, blowing and drifting snow. Winter storm warning, less than an hour away from kicking in, just about oh, 40 minutes away from kicking in for all the counties here in pink. Lesser snowfall amounts around in the blue counties where the winter weather advisory is in effect. So the rain snow mix is now becoming all snow as those temps chill down. It's 33 in Norwalk and Ashland and Worcester where it's snowing. 34 in snow in Medina. Cleveland a few flakes with some rain. 37. Akron 39 with rain. 48 today for the Cleveland high. Akron, Canton and Lorraine all hit 45. Same for Mansfield. That was after midnight last night and then temps have been slowly falling ever since. So we're watching the colder air begin to filter in from the west right here and it's beginning to push that rain snow line. Watch it. Boom right there. See it go and it will continue to move farther and farther east over the next couple of hours. So everyone's going to see snow. Everyone's going to have at least a little accumulation. This is a winter storm. Tornado watches out here to the east coast, but we're on the cold side of it. So it's going to wrap in that chilly air, that windy air overnight and create the snow. So Let's try and give you some snowfall expectations here. This is total snow. Tonight I would expect four to seven inches of new snow in the warning area and inland areas, lesser amounts, maybe, you know, two to four, one to three. Canton, you'll get one to three. But here's the total snow by midnight Wednesday morning. So that's tomorrow night, midnight, all right, six to ten. 8 to 12, and southern suburbs of Cleveland is going to share in some of this, all the way up into Lake Conjaga, even in Ashtabula County. Some spots could easily see more than 12 inches with a few spots approaching 14 or 16. That would be the exception, not the rule, but there is enough moisture coming in off the lake to provide that amount of snow. Canton, a little lesser amounts because the current computer models are beginning to shut the snow down for at least a little while tomorrow morning, which would lessen your snowfall totals two to five there. Akron, you're in that four to six inch range. If you get seven inches in Mogador, okay, but generally four to six, Mansfield, Ashland, lesser amounts as you head south. So this is going to be, it's going to be a windy day as well. Winds overnight, gusting above 30, same for tomorrow. So it's going to blow that snow around. Visibilities will be lower tomorrow, especially in the winter storm warned counties. It is going to be treacherous to travel. If you can work from home, I would suggest you do that. Winds gusting above 20, even above 30 miles per hour through the day. As we head in toward Wednesday, they begin to diminish. So snow overnight heavy at times in the warning area. Generally four to seven inches by sunrise where the winter storm worn counties are. Lesser amounts, one to three, two to four, farther south than the winter weather advisory. Tomorrow, more scattered snow, an additional four to eight inches in the warning area. Lesser amounts inland. We've got 32 degrees for the high. Let's show you the seven day. A little lake effect lingering Wednesday. And we're back to near 40 and dry by Saturday. We'll be back.